Colin, let me ask you, what is the difference between civilian courts versus military when it comes to things like exculpatory evidence that Jesse mentioned? The same. I mean, the Brady against Maryland, which is the Supreme Court standard, says that the prosecution has to turn over anything that's potentially exculpatory. Same rules apply in the military as a civilian system. I've worked in both. I'm sorry to hear about the case that the Gunny talks about because my experience is much different having sat as a judge for five years in the military and been a defense attorney and a prosecutor in the military and outside. You, you, you do the best you can to tee up a case, whether you're in the civilian system or military system. The prosecutors have the same rules in the military as they do in the civilian system. There are bad prosecutors in both systems, but most are good. And there are bad defense attorneys in both systems, but most are really good. And so the president's pardon power is absolute. It's in the Constitution. He can pardon somebody before they're charged, when they're charged, after they're charged, after they're dead. Uh, I think you have to look at these cases on a case-by-case -case basis. Let the system play out. If you're convicted in the military court-martial, you get automatic rights to appeal. If there's exoneration evidence, if there's stuff like DNA that, that exculpates somebody, then that should work itself, weigh it out. If it slips through the cracks and doesn't happen that way, then the president has the absolute ability to reach down and pardon somebody or commute their sentence. Now, to the Gunny's point, uh, you know, if there is a miscarriage of justice, uh, then the president should reach out and touch somebody and exonerate. All right, quick final word. Well, often we have seen that there's been a misrepresentation by the media itself. The New York Times article basically uh, prosecuted Chief Gallagher and left out much evidence that we know is there, such as a videotape, such as other evidence, such as the troops that were complaining about him have been people that he had reprimanded. And the public opinion has been horrible towards these military members. And I would like to see that the public stands behind them, uh, besides the fact that they hate the president so much that they want to see the troops go down. All right, much to um, consider as these things await trial now. Uh, thank you both for coming in, offering you. your expertise.